Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jason here. Today I'm going to show you guys a video on using different action cameras, okay? There's a lot of talk in the action camera world about, oh, which camera is better and which one is this one and which one is that one. I want to show you guys that it really kind of doesn't matter. It just depends on what you're trying to use the camera for, okay? You guys may buy a camera that's too much camera. You'll be buying features that you may never use. You may be buying quality or certain attributes that a camera may have that you'll never use. You gotta know what you want from your camera, how you wanna use it. So this video is gonna be very short. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how each camera looks. As far as the GoPro camera goes, I'm not telling you guys what GoPro, I'm gonna leave that in suspense. If you guys follow the channel, you will eventually see which GoPro I've been using all this time. Um, there's a lot of hype around like the, the new Insta360, I mean, yeah, the new Insta360 Ace Pro and the Ace, there's, um, Two months before that camera came out, DJI released the Action 4. Everybody was on the Action 4 is nuts when that one came out, talking about, oh man, the low light footage is this and that and that and the other. And it is, it really is. And it's probably one of my best or favorite action cameras for vlogging, moto vlogging to be exact, um, because you got the versatility of low light and regular daylight with, you know, with that camera. The Ace Pro stepped it up even more a notch and said, hey, well, you know, I can do it a little bit better than DJI. A little different color science. It depends on the settings and all this kind of good stuff. Um, these are the type of cameras that sometimes you have to play around with them to get even more optimized settings, you know, depending on how good you are as a photographer or a videographer. But um, you guys just have to know what kind of what kind of person you're gonna be with the cameras and figure out your budget, if that's an issue, to make sure you buy the right camera. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna tell you which camera is better. I could give you my opinion, but um, I'll just, I'd rather, I can show you better than I can tell you. And you just make it on your own decision. Like, hey, this one looks pretty good. The whole key to this whole thing, guys, is, is the footage lookable? Is it viewable? Is it something, you know, social media meaning on your phone, on your tablet? A lot of people, probably most people watch videos on their phones or their tablets. They don't actually watch it on a big old 4K screen TV. So, for example, if you guys are moto vlogging, most of the time, if you're doing a lot of writing and a lot of recording, you're gonna record at 1080p. Right now, what are your settings at right now for your YouTube? I'll wait. Mine's probably at 480p. I don't even watch videos in 4K because it uses up so much bandwidth. And most of the time, even with 5G, the video will slow down while I'm watching whatever video I'm watching on YouTube. So I don't even watch it in full 4K. You may watch it in your home, but are you watching this video right now in your house? Or are you at work on your cell phone looking at it because you want to buy one of these cameras and you want to make sure you make the best decision? You see? So 4K, 5.3, all this 8K, none of that really matters for most of you guys. Only for people who are taking this serious and they already know which camera they're going to buy. They're already looking at specifications that you aren't looking at. They're looking at features and hardware that you aren't really looking for. You're maybe, you may be looking for it because people are talking about it, but you won't actually need that hardware or whatever it is that the cameras may offer. So now you're shedding out all this money for something you don't necessarily need. So um, I probably should tell you guys what GoPro it is <laughs> with that being said, um, but this GoPro does come with drawbacks. But anyways, um, let me show you guys what they all look like. I'm gonna show you guys inside of my truck, in truck inside of my truck's interior with the light on behind me. I've cleaned all of the lenses with a high a high quality suede microfiber type towel um, to make sure there's nothing, no debris or anything like that on the lenses. Now do know that like my X3, for example, is an older camera. I do have a lens cover on it. I keep it protected, but sometimes even with protection, it's still not enough protection. That's what she said. So um, do keep that in mind. I still think it's really good, but let you guys be the decider. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. And then you tell me in the comments below which one you think you might get. And if you have any questions, y'all, like any questions, fire it off in the comments. I'm here, I, I'm always good at answering people's questions. So um, without further ado, man, look at the video footage and uh, let me know what you think. All right, peace. Okay, we got the Ace Pro. Oh yeah, this lens, I've actually kept this thing protected because I didn't want it to get damaged in any way but um how are we looking man how's that light look in the background we have a completely clear lens like i said this camera has been protected by the forces that may be okay the insta360 x3 
How does the light look in the background? Is there a bunch of stuff on the screen? I got this high quality, super soft cloth to make sure that the lens is clear. Do we see any spots on there? We have the DJI Action 4. Making sure the screen is, yeah, this lens is completely clear. Okay, how, do we, how are we looking? How's the light look in the background? Is it any, is it like, does it have little dust particles in the lens? Okay. Okay, here goes the GoPro. How's that light look in the background? The lens is clear. I didn't wiped it off with this high quality suede little towel thingy. Uh, how does it look? How do I look? The GoPro. Okay, guys. So you're using either one of these cameras. We got the Insta360 X3. We got the Insta360 Ace Pro. We got the GoPro. And we got the DJI Action 4. I have the sunlight walking behind me. All cameras are recording in 4K, 30 frames per second. We are using 5500 on a white balance. We have the ISO maxed out at 400. Because it is very bright conditions, that's kind of what you were a good place to put the ISO. And um, bit rates are all high and all sharpness on all cameras are set to medium. And this is what they look like, okay? We're sitting here, I got the sun facing me. Okay, and yes, I did say the Insta360 X3 because that camera can do standalone lenses and you have two of them. That's a cool thing about it. But I wanted you guys to see how it compares to the actual full-on action cameras when it comes to recording because maybe you guys only have enough money for just one of them. So you're like, well, which one is gonna be the best one? See, we got the sunlight behind us. <clears throat> All cameras are in their normal I don't have any cameras. They're all in just regular video mode with the settings that I told you. Now, some people may want this effect with the sun behind them like this, and then you're kind of like a silhouette in the video. But um, I'm just showing you guys, I'm just showing you how it looks, okay? Which camera is best for you? Or which camera should you get? That's all up to you guys. It's, it's really simple. It's just, it's up to you guys. So, um, back at the studio, this is just supposed to be a very short video. So don't expect this one to be long. I'm running more tests. So if you guys want to be, stay tuned for those tests, uh, stick around, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I'm going to be coming out with more videos just in case you guys haven't gotten this camera yet or either one of these cameras. Which GoPro it is that I'm, that I'm uh, using? Hmm, you have to stick around to find out, man. I I'm leaving this GoPro camera a secret right now because everybody's talking about GoPro and how they're just falling behind. And they are GoPro, okay? I don't know what you guys are going to do to bounce back from this, but you got to do something. But um, everybody's talking about how GoPro's falling behind the curb and this and that. So um, I want to show you guys GoPro cameras are still good. Okay, Insta 360s, DJI, you guys have done a good job. We appreciate you guys being around, but um, just a comparison. All right, back to the studio. All right, guys, so what do you guys think about the uh, those cameras? I know you guys are wondering, which GoPro are you using? Some of you guys may or may not have figured it out yet. If you're a really good GoPro avid GoPro user, you probably figured out which GoPro it is, but if not, it's okay. I'm not going to release the identity yet unless I did it by mistake, but I'm trying not to show you guys which GoPro that is because I really think that GoPro is, is, is pretty good. I think the, the, the quality of it overall is good. And if you guys don't have the budget to get these new cameras and keeping up with these things, because who the heck wants to keep up with these new cameras, right? If you guys ain't got the budget for that, you don't have to spend three, four, five hundred dollars on a new action camera because that's what they can cost when you start to accessorize them. Anyways, um, so yeah, so these are, are, are cheaper alternatives. They do come with their drawbacks, and some of the drawbacks can be a little frustrating depending on Some of these drawbacks could be a little frustrating depending on what they are and what you can or cannot deal with. But when you look at the price and the output that these cameras put out, um, it could be worth it. It just depends on you guys. So anyways, without further ado, Jay on the Segway is brick out here. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video, all right?
Oh, and stay tuned because I got a lot more coming out. Peace. Thank you.